Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kujo, and I'm gonna sit here and talk about the forest tips and tricks. Very first thing about the forest, these guys chop their heads off. The natives, if you find one laying around, if you have somebody that you just finished killing and he falls on the ground, if you got a guy hiding on a trap and that he got stuck on, kill him and chop their heads off till they roll off all the way. Because if you don't, they are gonna keep respawning and make your life a living hell. All right. So I'm glad I got that out of the way right quick. Guys, this game has, it's just got me so addicted. I just cannot stop playing this game. It is so much fun. The Forest is probably, hands down, the most realistic game I've ever played in my entire life. I mean, it's all about survival. They make you feel just like you're um, Les Stroud in Survivor Man, the way that you're going on. Molotovs right here, super important. Very effective against the natives. You guys can create Molotovs with a rag and a bottle of alcohol, so make sure that you keep that in mind. Another thing that you'll notice here is that the stomach, that I'm, I'm getting hungry and stuff, you guys gotta keep getting sustenance. You must feed yourselves all the time, it's so imperative. Look at this guy, boom, just takes him down. This game looks so amazing and it's in the alpha. It's got so much potential, it's ridiculous. The amount of things that you guys can do is sick. The little houses are obviously my bases. Um, <clears throat> here I'm going to meet 911 at the fuselage so we can pick up some more supplies. When you guys spawn at the fuselage, you want to go through every single piece of luggage that is there. Every piece of equipment is so vital for you to survive. The first day when I played, I probably survived about six days and then that was it. I got killed by the natives, I got hungry, and then now that they implemented a thirst system, which is that water drop that you see next to my stomach where I'm getting hungry, you can die of thirst too. So you gotta make sure that you guys find water, boil them. Another useful tip is if you wanna make yourselves a canteen, you guys need two deer skins and a piece of rope. That's super huge for you guys, especially if you all wanna be exploring and stuff. Also, these little ponds like these natives are going through that I'm busting up, they carry fish and sometimes you can find spears next to them. That's an excellent way to get constant food all the time. <sighs> this game for an alpha has so much potential. They keep adding stuff in here. The recent up 1.4 update does have some connection problems with people. I was trying to play with Lawler the other day and he was getting kicked issues and when I was reading the forums, um, a lot of other people were having it too, so it's definitely an update thing, and I'm hoping that they're going to fix that sooner than later, which I think they will, because the guys that have been working on this game have um, really been keeping a close eye and responding to people's complaints in a timely manner for, you know, people that are trying to do a kickstart kind of deal. But, like I was saying before, you guys definitely want to go through all of the luggage and find everything. If you notice right to the left of my bandana right there with the little circuit board, that's actually a time bomb. You guys can make a time bomb with a circuit board, a penny, a little bit of alcohol, and a watch. So that's definitely something that you guys want to keep in the back of your brain right there. Every piece of equipment, like I said before, that you come across is so vital. You can make fire arrows, you can make fire axes. I mean, basically, if you put your mind to it and connect it, it it's at, you know, it's endless. Uh, one of the things that you guys want to also try to keep in mind is that these turtles, if you kill them, you can use their shells and pick them up and catch rainwater. That's huge when you're inside of a base, so like that, you have constant fresh water all the time. Um, if you guys don't, you're going to have to scavenge and find a pot or a clay pot somewhere. You can usually find pots in random um, in random camps. Like it looks like an, a certain parts of the island, different part, different survivors ended up there from the crash. So they have like tents and stuff set up. So you can usually find one in one of those camps. Also, that came out with the recent update. Um, you guys can go scuba diving now. It's so cool, man. They, um, you can find scuba gear uh, either on a boat or something. It's scattered about. When I was finding my stuff, I didn't find my scuba gear um, at a boat. I found it over at um, West Camp, which I'll show in the next video with um, what our West Camp is. Uh, basically, everything that I've built here has been credited to 9-11. He's helped out so much in this. 
Lawler also helped out a lot over here at the wall, which is where we're heading towards right now. We're going to the wall. Now this thing is pretty impressive. I, I feel that it's impressive and when people end up coming in here and check out the wall, um, it was super impressive. Uh, the reason why we called it the wall is because originally in the game, this was actually the north side of the game world. But for some reason, when we ended up loading back in after the update, this now turned into east. So, um, yeah, you want to make sure that you know your navigation skill. Remember, the sun rises to the east and sets in the west. So this is now considered east because when we ended up coming back in the game, it kind of screwed up. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? But so anyways, that's why we called it the wall. Long story short, we called it the fucking wall. It's totally gangstered out. We got traps everywhere. Ain't nobody coming up in here, man. But sometimes you do get raids. You got to be careful. I would advise because you can make yourself armor to protect yourself from natives. You can combine um, lizard skin together and make armor because there's these random like armored lizards around that you can kill them and take their armor and stuff. Uh, so, oh, this structure here. This is the Thunderdome. Two men enter. One man leaves from this area. This is the Thunderdome. And man, I'm telling you what, man, you better not fuck up in our lobby because we will ban your ass to the Thunderdome and throw a bunch of natives in there that will fucking kill you, okay? Because there were people that were coming in our room before and they, try, they tried to kill me, they tried to kill 9-11, so we said, hell no, we killed those dudes and then we banned them to the original West Camp, which is on the other side, um, and we'll show you that in the next video. But this is the Thunderdome. Two men enter, one man leaves, we got traps everywhere, we put two people with axes fighting in there, and then whoever ends up surviving gets to join, you know, civilization over at the wall. So, and if you die, you know, you're shit out of luck, you better stay the fuck out. But this is the wall. Now it's imperative that you guys put a lot of traps here, because like I was saying before, the natives can gang up on you. Sometimes they come with an army of at least 20 or 30 dudes, and they post up in different positions of your area. So it's important that if you guys get the spike logs here all on the front and the top, it'll put a nice little border to keep them away from you. Um, 911 thinks that they're going to come out with an update where they have like beast riders or monsters or something because that's how it was in the trailer and in one of the shots. Uh, but I think that's still a little ways out, at least till we get to version 2 point something. But this is the wall. This is the wall right here. This is it. This is our houseboat that kind of sank. You can build houseboats too, we thought it was cool so we ended up uh, building one and it failed. So they definitely have to work in the physics when it comes to the water stuff. But it's cool that you can do it so it was pretty sweet. Um, also another helpful tint, hit, hint, bleh, another helpful hint is that the natives cannot swim in the water. So we actually stopped this part of the wall here because there's a bunch of water there. They're scared of the water so they won't come to it. So that part of the area is cool. As long as there's water, they won't go to it like that. Uh, especially if it's, you know, with a border or whatever around it. This is a guest house for anybody that comes in here. That's our guest house. And then this was actually, this part right here, when you first get into it, into the game, this is actually a native camp. So what happened was is that the people that there was a dude that joined us and we ended up coming over here and he was cool because he was helping us build and shit. So we ended up coming here in this area and we ended up killing all of the natives and just took it over. And then when we took it over we just started building and had at it. So um, like if you notice when I go into my inventory I do have a lot of items. I'm probably about 26 days in surviving. Uh, without a death when you die you do lose everything they were saying that there was an option in order for you to like recover all of your equipment and stuff but I didn't see it that's never happened to me and I've died probably a handful of times if you guys do um, play a single player instead of co-op the experience is a little bit different your building time is gonna be a little bit more dramatic because you don't have that second pair of hands obviously but there's also a difference in the way that the game is presented and the way that the natives interact with you. All I have to say is that you have to be careful at the nighttime. I don't want to spoil it because it's a really freaking awesome surprise that happens to you if, if, if this particular thing happens. But you're going to be like, wow, that is pretty freaking awesome to be putting in a game. Um, 
Also, some things that you guys want to do for crafting. Um, two logs makes a bench. Benches are super important because if you notice, my stamina goes down a lot when I'm running around and stuff. So I would recommend that you guys build benches near a group of trees that you guys are going to annihilate or ponds like this. So like that when you can get up here, you can rest, get some stuff, and get some fish that you can take it to eat. You notice that a lip icon came up here so you can drink out of the water. I would drink water at your own risk because if you do drink tainted water, you will die. So you got to make sure that you end up watching out for that. If you're super cold, you want to make a fire, stay warm, and then also make sure that you, you know, eat and keep sustenance alive. Man, I just love this game. I don't know what it is. I just love it. I mean, if I'm going to compare it to anything, I would probably compare it to, like, Minecraft for adults or something. I guess. I don't know. But it's awesome. It's the shit. Check it out. It's on Steam. I think it was, like, ten bucks when I got it. It was, like, pretty much nothing. And they update it. And, you know, man, it's the shit. It's the bomb. Alright, man. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Facebook.com slash groups slash scum nation, man. I'm out.